time out. In the outer part of outer space, time travelers Chirp Tweed and Squawk were... Why are we in outer space? Because you can only travel through time in outer space. Uh, what about a magic portal? That's good too, but this time, space. Okay. In the outer part of outer space, time travelers Chirp, Tweet, and Squawk were... Going to ancient Egypt so Tweet could be the queen. No, they were going way back in time to ride a really big dinosaur. But the time machine wasn't going to any of those places. It was going somewhere else. Somewhere much more... Cold! Welcome to the Ice Age! What's the Ice Age? The Ice Age was a long time ago when the Earth got really cold. The whole planet was covered in ice and snow. I'm gonna go find a dinosaur. Sorry, Squawk. The Ice Age was a long time after the dinosaurs were alive. Aww. I really wanted to ride something big. But time traveler Squawk was in luck because everything was bigger in the Ice Age. Even elephants? Especially elephants. Actually, there weren't elephants back then either. What? First no dinosaurs, now no elephants? There weren't elephants, but there were woolly mammoths. Whoa! They were like elephants, except bigger and hairier. And they had giant tusks. Woolly mammoth! Look at those tusks! It's huge! So soft. Whoa! But the woolly mammoth noticed that time traveler Squawk was hanging onto her foot. Uh-oh. And she reached down with her trunk. Nice trunk, good trunk. And picked him up. I can't look. To give him a woolly mammoth ride. Woolly mammoth ride? Yes! Whoa! Hold on! Go, mammoth, go! But then the mammoth saw uh, another Ice Age creature. Oh, it's just a cute little kitty cat. But it wasn't a cute little kitty cat. It was a, um... A uh, saber-toothed tiger? Yeah, a saber-toothed tiger. Ah, saber-toothed tiger! We have to help her, but how? If we make trumpet sounds, it might sound like we're a whole herd of mammoths and scare the tiger away. Let's do it! Scared off the saber tooth tiger. That was amazing. Go, let's go back to the time machine and go somewhere warmer. Good idea. Yeah. Brr. Bye, Mammoth. But the time travelers weren't the only ones going to the time machine. What is she doing? No! Don't lie down! She was going to lie down. And even worse, the mammoth was about to take a nice long nap right on top of the time machine. No! Wake up! Get up! Where's Squawk? So cozy, so sleepy, so mammothy. Squawk, wake up! Yeah, we have to get our time machine back before we t t t turn into icicles. Ooh, what kind of snore is that? That's not a snore. It's... Mouse World! We'll go back to playing time travelers later. Whoa. Thanks, Mouse Squirrel! Two chirp from Grandma. I thought you might like this. Now I'm off to race llamas. Wish me luck! Good luck, Grandma! I hope it's a new time machine. Let's go see. On the count of three woolly mammoths. One! <laughs> Two! <laughs> three! <laughs> what? Cool! Wow! 
What is this? It's got this windy thing on the back. Hmm. It makes noise and there are numbers on it. Let me see, let me see! Whoa! Yikes! Uh, How do we stop it? I don't know. Maybe this? Ah, oh, that's better. We should take this to Sparky. <laughs> She'll know what it is and why it makes so much noise. Is, is it safe to come out now? Let's see if it stopped. Oh! Turn it off! That sound knocked me over. Um, what are we looking for exactly? I just saw another dog on the other side of the fence. What are you doing with that alarm clock? Oh, uh, it's an alarm clock. Do you know how to stop it? Every time I let go, it does this! Ooh. There we go. There's a switch on the back to turn it off. Alarm clocks are great things. I'll show you. Alarm clocks tell the time. See? This is the hour hand, and this is the minute hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Soap clocks have hands? Mm-hmm. And alarm clocks even have an extra hand that tells you when the alarm will go off. But why does it have to be so noisy? It has to be noisy to wake you up in the morning. Here, want to try? Turn the alarm hand to here and turn the hour hand to here. That's so cool! Me! Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off! Dog! <laughs> Bye, Sparky! Catch you later! We'll see you later! Let's go back to playing Ice Age. I know how to wake up that woolly mammoth. To the Ice Age! Good luck getting that apple, Bull Brothers. because a woolly mammoth fell asleep on their time machine. How are we gonna wake her up? We could set the alarm on the clock. It's going to be loud. Whoa! We did it! She's awake! The woolly mammoth was awake, but now uh, she was grumpy. She was stomping and trumpeting and cracking the ice. Oh no! The time machine is sliding away! We have to go after it! Whoa! Wow! Come on, let's get inside! Where should we go now? Somewhere warm. Ancient Egypt would be warm. I'll be a queen. But they wouldn't be going anywhere because the hand of the time machine dial was frozen. I can't feel my face. The alarm clock has hands. Maybe we can use it to fix the time machine? Let's point the hands at the playhouse to take us home. I hope this works. It's not working. We need to set the alarm. I'm turning into an icicle. Again. Tail feather's still frozen, though. Uh, back to the future. Uh-oh. Don't look now. But it's terrible. It's horrible. <gasps> what is it? The mammoth followed us back through time. Oh, no. 